Hey y'all, thank you so much for stopping in over here on Rochester's Heat and Air's channel. I'm Fritz Rochester, Master uh, Kentucky Master HVAC Contractor right here in Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, we're back out here to my Heritage 13 Sear uh, R22 two and a half ton uh, heat pump. Um, I'm running dual fuel over here. And uh, basically today guys, we're gonna clean this puppy up a little bit. I'm ashamed of myself guys, I've, I've gotten busy and um, I haven't uh, had any uh, taking the TLC on this, the tender loving care and, and keeping this thing clean. So basically today guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna clean this up. And before I clean it, we're gonna get a, uh, I'm not sure if this actually is gonna work, but we're gonna see what, uh, what the wattage looks like on this thing and our amp draw. And then we're gonna clean it, we're gonna let it dry, and then we're gonna check it again and see what that is. And I uh, also wanted to clean it also because I'm gonna be shooting like a series of tests with that new amp probe we got. So uh, let's get out here to the truck and, and get, our, get our wicked coal gun out here. Get my cleaner. That's one fantastic tool right there, guys. Awesomeness. Um, I went out and bought me some of this uh, this can coal cleaner too when I was at the Johnstone. Uh, coal clean, coal cleaning foam, heavy duty alkaline detergent cleaning power, no rinsing required. Uh, I had to give that a shot on some evaporators or something like that, but uh, I actually rock the uh, Evap Green, all natural green, no rinse evaporator coal cleaner. I use that brown, that heavy duty brown, when I'm in uh, getting into some funky situations, but. Uh, as for now, um, most of the condenser units, I, I, I clean it with, the, with this EVAP green, the new Calgon here. So uh, let's take our new Calgon coal gun and our new Calgon cleaning solution and get started. All right, guys, I'll get right back okay, to you. Okay, guys, we're back over here to my unit. And what I wanted to do before we actually wash it, guys, is I wanted to get some readings with my new ACD-51 uh, nav here, my, my new amp probe here. And it's a, like I said, it's a fantastic instrument, man. We can do volts, amps, and wattage with this thing. And, and uh, ohms and microfarads and uh, the whole nine yards with this thing. But uh, anyway, guys, I've got my plunger style uh, meter leads here uh, hooked to the proper terminals here. And what we're going to actually do is get our voltage, and it should be around 240 or so, 239. Okay, yeah, we're at 239. Okay. Now, what I love about this meter, guys, is we can actually take this meter on the fly and we're going to go ahead and pull it to amps. Okay. Amps. And we know this blue and black wire right here is actually the common lead that goes back to our compressor. That's where we need to uh, get our amp draw here. And on the data plate it says not to exceed 9.5. So let's go ahead and get our jaws wrapped around this. Being very careful. If you don't have training to do this stuff, guys, you don't need to be doing it. Okay? This is very dangerous. Alright, guys, we're reading 7.1, 7.2, somewhere to that factor. Alright, guys, now like I was saying, Volts times amps, you can do that, you know, with your calculator or whatever. Volts times amps is going to give us our wattage. So let's pull it on over here to watts and see what we got. Okay, guys, we're running at uh, 1.64, 1.62. Let me go ahead and, and hit the hold button on this. Okay, guys, we're running at uh, 1.640 kilowatts. So that tells us we're running at 16... 1,640 watts on this unit at this particular time, okay? Now what I wanted to demonstrate is, uh, actually, I was wondering if, uh, you know, my condenser coil here ain't, you know, plugged up or anything, but it is dirty. I've let it go this summer, and uh, last time I cleaned it was last summer. And this is a heat pump, so it runs year-round. So uh, I'm wanting to see if there's any change whatsoever in our wattage and our amps and all that good stuff. Uh, after I clean it and let it dry and then we'll measure it again. Okay guys. All right guys Let me get after okay it. guys. We're performing a few tests here and before I before I clean it also I actually want to check my inrush here. So I've got the amp probe pulled over the inrush I'm gonna take it and put it around the proper proper terminal lead here Which is our black and our blue wire right there. And I'm gonna get it in there and make sure that's the only wire in it and uh, Let's go ahead and hit it and see what we got. Uh, I believe our data plate is rated at 63. All right guys. Here we go. All right, guys, we got 53.83, 53.83. All right, guys, let's get started. Little brother Timmy stopped by. They're out front talking to Miles.
All right, guys. Might have to use another bottle. That thing's kind of dirty. I'm not going to bore you all to death with this. I've, you've seen me wash a unit a thousand times. I might show like a quick clip or something of it. All right, guys. Gotta love the Makita, guys. Fits right in your bag. I don't think I've charged this thing for a year. Went ahead and took the back off, too. I believe this thing's actually working on this spine fan. Just got to be kind of careful with it. But this is where Sarge's hair winds up at right here when he's sitting on the deck, I guess. Look at that. All right, guys, let me get after it. Gotta love the coal gun, guys.
All right, guys, let's, let's do its thing. Right, we'll wash her out. Thing. Let's go ahead and clean her out. All right, guys, we got her great and clean, man. It's uh, pretty daggone clean inside and out, outside and in. I even went as far as to, you know, scrub on the chassis here a little bit and get her shining, shining back the way she was. But it's all about taking a little pride in what you're doing, guys. That's what it's all about. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get this puppy fired up. We'll let it run for a good 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll uh, do our tests again and see what we got. Okay, guys, let's get her going. All right, all right guys, rock. thank you for sticking with me, man. Uh, we cleaned up my American Standard Heritage 13 Sear R22 heat pump. And I mean, we cleaned her up good. We washed her inside out, outside in, inside out, and then sprayed her down real good. Uh, she's purring like a kitten right now, guys. And uh, what I actually wanted to do with this, I'm kind of ashamed of myself for letting her get that dirty. However, in retrospect, really not because of the amp probe. We can actually prove a point with our amp probe right here. Um, actually, uh, we did a uh, voltage test, we did an amp draw, and we did wattage. Now, I'm wondering if it's going to be a significant difference or what, but uh, we have the opportunity, we have the know-how now, we can test it. All right, guys, let's come on over here and let's test her. She's been running for a good 45 minutes now. It sounds great, don't it? But uh, we've got our test terminal leads, our plunger-style leads hooked to the appropriate terminals on our on our contactor here. And uh, let's go ahead and fire this puppy up. Let me put a hat cam on. Let's get our voltage. All right, guys. It's running at 241 now. I, I believe we were at uh, 239 on our original shot before we cleaned it, okay? I don't know if that has any significant difference. I'm just thinking that uh, it's later in the day and people ain't uh, uh, drawing the voltage. I, I'm not sure about that part of it. But uh, anyway guys, what we want to do is see that black and blue wire up there. We know that's the common terminal 
to our, our common wire that goes to the terminal on our compressor. Let's go ahead and get up on there. And what I like, I said, I love about this meter, we can do it on the fly. But let's not hook anything in other than that blue wire there. All right, let's uh, come over here and pull it down. All right, guys, we're running 6.5 amps. 6.5. Hey, guys, before we cleaned it, we were running uh, 7.2. All right, let's go on and pull it to wattage and see if we actually, uh, if it's actually a significant savings. All right, here we go. All right, let's hit hold. All right, guys, we're holding it. 1540, 1 1.40 kilowatts, which is times a thousand, is going to give us uh, 1,540 watts. Guys, we were pulling uh, 1,600. That's 100 watts less, guys. Hey, keeping your unit clean actually does help. Ain't that something? Guys, I appreciate y'all sticking with me and going through some of the tests that I'm going through. I'm going to do all kinds of series of tests with this. I think it's incredible. But uh, anyway, I reckon we'll talk to you soon.